guys, my name is Barnetta and this is my kitty cat Bimo. and today we're going to talk about five things in my house that I no longer own since becoming more minimal and decluttering. These are things that even shocked me that I could live without, but that's the best part about minimalism is playing with the idea, can you let this go? Do you need it? And just really pinpointing on the things that you can't live without and you love most. So let's get started. Number one is a microwave. And you guys, this is not because I am a good cook. So now you've learned a couple things about me. I don't know how to make myself look good and I can't cook. I just heat my food up the old fashioned way and so does my fiance and we really haven't looked back or really felt the pain of not having a microwave. And honestly, I think it's healthier to heat your food up the old fashioned way, but I'm not a scientist and if you are, let me know in the comments down below if it's really not not safe to use a microwave. I'd love to hear it. Number two is a toaster. Now this is kind of in the same breath as the microwave. I was able to let go of the toaster because we got a toaster oven, which serves two purposes. It toasts and it can heat up food. So this is all about having multi-purpose items rather than a single use item and seeing where those fit into your life. Number three is a coffee maker and I freaking love coffee. So it's not that I'm starving myself of having coffee. I'm just fortunate enough to work in a place that allows me to have free coffee. And even before I worked there, every other place I worked had a communal coffee pot. And for me, I tend to just drink coffee when I'm working and not so much in the evening and really not in the morning before work because I don't give myself enough time to do anything enjoyable in the morning. <laughs> I found that buying my own cup of coffee on the weekend is ultimately cheaper than buying all of the products and items that I need for a coffee maker and you can get a pretty decently cheap cup of coffee if you don't do all the bells and whistles of the latte. So yeah, that's just one less thing I have to take care of and I am all about that. Number four and five are an iron and an ironing board. Recently my eyes were opened up to how amazing a steamer is and I have always hated ironing but I've made myself feel horrible for all of these years not thinking how easy it could have been to just have a steamer. So absolutely recommend getting just a little handheld steamer rather than lugging around an iron and an ironing board. And if you hate it, try and find something that replaces it. Since moving into this decluttering journey, it's all about again, and I am a squeaky wheel, but it's all about doing things that bring you joy and make you happy and make you feel lighter inside and out. And guys, if you have let go of household items, let me know if there's some you can't live without. Again, let me know that. And as always, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me so much. And until the next time, please remember that there is no one like you. You are loved and you are beautiful inside and out. And I will see you guys later. Bye.